In this video, we'll continue learning about variables and primitive data types. Now that there is a variable that is ready to store an integer, the next step is to assign it a value. When you initialize a variable, you assign the variable a value. This is what it looks like to assign a variable a value. You first write the variable name, followed by the equal sign, followed by the initial variable value. With this line of code, the empty box now stores the value of 5. When it comes to variable initialization, there are a few important notes. You have to initialize a variable before it can be used. Here, you declare the variable numcats and then try to print its value to the console. However, when the program runs, you get an error. Variable numcats might not have been initialized. This is because the print statement is trying to access the variable numcats, but it hasn't been initialized, it's just been declared. To fix this, you can assign a value to numcats to initialize it, and when the program is run, the value of numcats, which is 5, prints. Additionally, the value assigned to a variable must match the variable's data type. Here, the value assigned to food price is a double, but the variable's data type is an int. When this program runs, you will get an incompatible types error. You can also declare and initialize a variable in one line of code. To do this, you include all the same components when you declare and initialize on separate lines. You include the data type, variable name, and then on the same line, you include the equal sign and initial value. This statement creates a box with a Boolean data type called isAsleep and stores the value of true inside of it. But what if the cat wakes up? The great thing about variables is that you can update their value throughout the program. So after you have initialized the value of isAsleep to true, you can update the value by writing the variable name isAsleep, followed by the equal sign, followed by the new value you want the variable to hold, in this case false because the cat is not asleep. An important note, when you assign a variable a new value, you do not include the data type. This is because the data type signifies the computer to create a new variable of that data type. So if you include the keyword boolean, this would actually create another variable with a boolean data type named is asleep. Because each variable has to have a unique name, this would cause an error when you try and run the program. One last note about variables. You can prevent a variable from being altered by using the keyword final before the data type. If there is an attempt to change the variable value, then an error will be called indicating that variable has already been assigned. This is often used as a security measure in more complex programs to ensure that values cannot be modified by others. Now that you know the basics of using variables to store primitive values, you can start using them in your own programs.